Hey guys, welcome to Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joe Samara. You know, we got a great show for you here today in front of the grill, and we are going to be making grilled pizzas. You've seen it before, grilled pizzas, right? Nothing new, but I got a real special way of doing my grilled pizza. And I got the perfect combination of both spices and ingredients because you just can't put anything on a grilled pizza. You know, many people have tried to do a white pizza and stuff like that. You just, you're not gonna get where you need to be. So there's certain types of, of grilled pizzas that work and there's certain types that should never be put on a grill at all. And you have to be very careful with the seasoning and what kind of olive oil you use as well because you want to use an, an oil with a high smoking point. So today I'm using grapeseed oil because I know this is going right on this grill at about, you know, four or five hundred degrees. So all those things come into play when you're making your pizzas. So we got a couple of pizzas coming up here. We got the first one is probably going to be the, the eggplant. We're going to grill the eggplant first. We're going to put the eggplant on with some delicate sauce. Now there's two different kinds of sauces that I'm using for these pizzas. One's a marinara and one is a filetto de pomodoro. They are not the same. So in your house, if you only have one tomato sauce, today you're going to have two, okay? We're going to show you how to, well, I won't show you how to make the two, but I'll talk about it. The filetto de pomodoro has onions in it. The marinara has garlic and that's, that's pretty much, you know, without going into a whole thing and uh, an explanation for everything, that's pretty much the difference. Although a little filetto de pomodoro, I like to add a little bit of white wine, some shallots, and a little bit of uh, prosciutto di parma. But we really should save that for another episode. But we got two different kinds of sauces. We're also gonna be doing the classic margarita, but instead I'm gonna be using a different cheese other than fresh mozzarella. And then we have a Greek style, a Mediterranean. We're gonna put artichokes on there. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, red onions, some feta cheese. So it's gonna be good. So uh, let's get started first with the dough because what we're gonna to need to do is separate the dough, roll it out a little bit with some flour and really just take it to another level and, and par grill just a little bit on here. Okay, I can't forget to give a plug uh, to lowtechsales.com. Check it out. Now, if you want your embroidered name on these uh, different kind of pizza cutters and everything else, or these pizza peels, I gotta say, man, I was impressed. I've had people do this for me over the years, but not like this. I mean, this is spot on right here. This is craftsmanship at its finest. Check them out, lowtechsales.com. You can get what you need. This is the dough. Now, you've watched my show before, you know that I've made it a million times. I'm not gonna really go into it now. Uh, but this is the standard pizza dough. I'm gonna take a little bit of flour, flour the board. Okay, and then we, we, we're gonna be making three pizzas, so we want three cups. So we're just gonna, I don't know if I had to guess, it's about, you know, nine ounces or so. And real simple, real simple. We're gonna do is take the flour. You never want to do a lot of flour because then it just becomes a mess, right? So just a little bit. I mean, I, you know, you don't have to be a professional pizza maker. I sure as hell am not. But I've been around enough pizza and pizza makers to know what you know what the deal is. So right here, we're just gonna take a little bit. You so you sort of stretch it out, but you don't want any holes. See how like there's there was almost a hole there? We're just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. And you have to be very careful when you're grilling pizza. Some people might just be better off using a, um, a rolling pin because you have to be careful on where it, where it starts to cook. You know, if this is too thin, then this side's not gonna cook enough. So you wanna try to make sure that it's even throughout, okay? We look like we got an even piece. Now, what we're gonna do is oil this. In here, we have oil, fresh garlic, 
We have grapeseed oil, right? We have a whole bunch of dry herbs. Of course, I like to use dry. The only thing that's fresh in here is the garlic. And we're just gonna brush the bottom part of this. And you don't want a, a sloppy mess. You just wanna be able to get all the sides and everywhere, and every newt and cranny with some of this incredible fused olive oil. And then this is the side that's gonna go on the grill first. Okay, so now you got your pizza here. Look, if you wanted to play it safe, you could easily just go like that and you're right on the grill. Now you fix it up a little bit, but you're good. All right, now the grill shouldn't be too hot at all. What we want the grill to be is, you know, maybe 350 degrees. You want it piping hot in the beginning, but now you want to let it do its thing. It's gonna, it's gonna naturally come off the heating coils. And you can, you know, you can pick this up, and now you see we're not sticking, which is a good thing, right? Just let it do its thing for a minute. We're gonna flip it over. Gonna take a look at this thing. All right, good. It holds its shape. Play around with it a little bit and pick it up. Oh, there you go. That's what you're talking about. Now you only want to just basically leave it on there for another couple of seconds and then take it off. Because don't forget, we have to melt cheese and everything else. We don't want to cook the pizza too much. So let's take this off. Okay, so let's let's go with another one. Let's say you wanted to get a little bit more traditional with a rolling pin, right? Let's say you didn't want it so rustic looking. Okay, plow the bottom. Plow the top. If you weren't comfortable, you can just take a rolling pin right here. And you'll get it a lot even. I'm just so used to my damn hands, man. I'm just zip, zip, zip. But if you wanted to really get it nice and neat. This is what we're doing right here. I mean, you could shape it. For me, grilling pizza, it doesn't matter really the shape of it. Just as long as it tastes good. That's what you want. You want to roll that out nice and nicey. You don't want it too thin, but yet you don't want it too thick either. You know, you want to give the dough an opportunity to cook. But I kind of like a, a side that's a, a little thinner than the other. I like every now and again, I like to bite into a crispy side. I don't like it so even, but I figured I'd do one even one just to show you. Okay, we got the next one. We oiled it. And this one's a little more even than the other one was before. It really doesn't matter. Pick it up, throw it down nice. Stretch it out a bit. Again, you don't have to be so even. Don't worry about that, because it's all gonna come up and look really good at the end. And like I said, don't worry about it being even. It's not a little even on the sides there. It's not the end of the world. Pick that up, and you can already see it's coming right off the grill. That's because you put the oil on there. So remember, don't leave it on the other side too long, because we got a lot to do with this thing. We're gonna put sauce and cheese right over the top here. This is filetto di pomodoro sauce. It's made with onions, shallots, a little bit of white wine, and prosciutto. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Don't worry about if your pizza's not even. People go, ah, this pizza's not even. Who cares? As long as it tastes good, there's no rules. Okay, make sure your cheese is all over the plate. Add some seasoned oil over the top. Are you kidding me? Look at that sizzle. What? Pull it underneath it. It's great. I mean, not, the crust isn't, isn't getting, you know, burnt. This is because we're cooking in a slow temperature and we're controlling this. That's what's important about grilled pizza. Too many grilled pizzas I've had are just a doughy mess. This is not. See how this is moving together? Okay, we got a little crack here, but that was from before, so no problem. Uh, but this is this is really good. This is gonna look really nice. Let's close it up for a little bit, and we're almost ready to to turn these over too. That they're, they're getting pretty soft. Okay, 
Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, I would take it off at this point. Definitely looks like it's finished. Take a look at this, folks. That is damn good. Okay, we got another couple of minutes on our eggplant. We're gonna start on another pizza as well. Next, coming up, we got our Mediterranean. Now we're on to the Mediterranean. Mediterranean, we're gonna take a little bit of oil, our seasoned oil. We're gonna go over the edges. They know that's my pet peeve when it comes to grilled pizza. The edges gotta be good. Our eggplants still get a little bit of time. So we're gonna put the, we're gonna assemble the rest of this stuff on here. And we got our our uh, artichoke hearts, marinated by myself, by the way. I boil them down, I pickle them. I don't mess around over here. Some beautiful garden cherry tomatoes for my garden. Some regular tomatoes. I got so many tomatoes coming up this time of year, it's crazy. We got some feta cheese. And we got some red onion. be held together unless we put a little bit of cheese on top. We're just going to put a little bit. We don't want to take away from the dish. That's a good looking Mediterranean. We got some tomatoes in there, some red onions, artichokes, The taste is crusher. Okay, throw that eggplant on top. All right, we're gonna let it do its thing. This baby's crispy. Ready to go. Look at that sizzle. Look at that sizzle there. Now, if you're not careful the right olive oil, that'll just burn on you and taste disgusting. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take this off. Now, my friends, this is what I'm talking about. This is grilled pizza. Look at that baby. We got everything we need on there. We're going to cut this baby up. Hope you enjoyed this show, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, I'm Chef Joe Seminera, and there are no rules in cooking. Grilled pizza style. Taste this.